This video is brought to you by Technically Not a Technician, and in today's video we'll be speaking about the classic arcade game, Rampage World Tour. Rampage World Tour is the second game in the Rampage series, released in 1997. Game Refuge Inc. designers Brian Collin and Jeff Nauman, who conceived and designed the original in 1986, created the game as an arcade game for Midway Games. It was ported to the Sega Saturn, Nintendo 64, Game Boy Color, PlayStation, and Microsoft Windows, and it was re-released on Midway Arcade Treasures 2 as well as being packaged in the game Rampage, Total Destruction. In terms of the game's plot, George, Lizzie, and Ralph have been released as a result of an explosion at Scumlab's facility. The trio begins destroying all of Scumlab's bases around the world and killing its employees. Scumlab's CEO Eustace Demonic transforms himself into a monster in the final levels to combat George, Lizzie, and Ralph, but is defeated during a battle on a lunar base. Following this, Dr. Elizabeth Veronica, the only surviving Scumlab's employee, tries to disintegrate the monsters with a ray gun on her spaceship, but it only shrinks them to a miniature size, and they end up inside her ship. George and Ralph pose on the shelves, while Lizzie bounces atop Veronica's breasts, though the latter portion of the bouncing is unfortunately censored on home ports. The goal of each stage, as in the original Rampage game, is to destroy all of the buildings in each city while avoiding or destroying the military forces. If the player takes too long to destroy the city, jets will fly in and bomb the remaining buildings, resulting in a lower score at the end of the stage. A tourism billboard cycles through different regions of the country on the first level, Peoria. When the billboard is showing one of these regions, destroying it will send the player in that direction. Players can also control which countries they can visit by eating or ignoring the World Tour power-ups. Following the acquisition of the World Tour power-up, the following levels take place in a foreign location until a scum lab's plant is destroyed. Purple radioactive waste temporarily transforms the player into the VERN super monster. The game will not end until every scum lab city has been destroyed, which may result in some erratic traveling near the end of the game, including multiple world tour trips if players have missed or purposefully avoided obtaining world tour flags. The arcade version supports up to three players simultaneously. Though it was announced that the PlayStation version would also support three players, both the PlayStation and Saturn versions allow only two players. Three-player support apparently was programmed into the port at one point and pulled at the last minute, since a review of the PlayStation version in Electronic Gaming Monthly describes three-player gameplay. The Nintendo 64 is the only conversion we know of that includes full three-player functionality. Rampage World Tour was shown at the Jammer Arcade Show in Japan shortly after the home ports were released, but it drew little interest, and the game was never released in Japan. Although some criticized the PlayStation and Saturn versions for only supporting two players as opposed to the three supported in the arcade version, critics generally agreed that the console ports are almost perfect recreations of the arcade games. They were however, divided on the game itself. Many people praised it for being a fun revival of an arcade classic. Sean Smith, from Electronic Gaming Monthly wrote that, nothing beats sitting down and playing a good old-fashioned game. It's even better when it's been improved while maintaining the original's feel. I really agree with that statement and I think it says a lot about this game. As soon as I got in front of it for the first time I knew what had to be done. It felt like the old game, but I had tons of new things to learn and find out. I can remember looking at the graphics and thinking about how updated it all looked. Thank you for watching today's video. I hope you liked it and found it informative. If you did, please remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video with a friend. These are only small clicks for you, but they make a world of difference for this channel. Thank you.